hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames so guys Ye West was out with his wife and a paparazzi show up started videoing started taking photos congratulating him on his marriage and Ye was like stop doing that you know i'm not getting a percentage of what you're doing she's not getting a percentage you don't even know what's going on you know so basically Ye West was saying you're invading my privacy i would like to have private moments but guys i have the entire clip and i'm gonna share that clip with you guys then i'll get back with the rest of my commentary on your honeymoon guys all right i just want to congratulate on your honeymoon Bro, just stop you got paparazzi you understand it's like the first stop just stop. Yeah, but I, I'm like, in the I'm, alley. No, no, listen, bro. Yeah. It's like antagonistic. Guys, I, I just need this one shot, please. No, no, you got the shot, but I'm saying it's It like, was not good, but I respect you. It's like, that's my thing. It's like, you don't even know. Y'all just jump up on people like this, and it's just like... I apologize if I caused you trouble, and you told me to stop, and I stopped. Do you know the first time I ever took medication why I was? Because I got mad at paparazzi. I'm so sorry. You know, you know what paparazzi was? No. The same one that shot Britney. Oh. You know what I'm saying? My dad did photography for for newspapers. You know what I'm saying? I, it has to be some kind of balance, some kind of conversation. I can't live in California and my life like I'm some type of caged animal to be judged. Oh, I totally understand. And, and we yeah. respect you. You told me to stop and I stopped. No, I appreciate we love that. your music, your but talent. Who, who do you work for? Which company? I'm independent, but I upload to the media. I do. Who, who's, who's the media? The media doesn't have a right just to like, boom, pop up. We have no idea. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't have no say so over the shot. No, you did because I stopped. No, it's I listened not just to you. That. It's like, it's not just that. It's the entire media. Y'all find where we're at. Yeah, take this photo. What percentage of the what percentage of the money do we get off of the photos? On this one, probably not. On which on, ones? On on none of them. For years and on years. On your general PR, yes, you do. But I'm the wrong person to argue with you. But who do you I work with? No, independent. Who do I'm you say? To I'm totally independent. I need to find out all the information and how it actually works, so I can like, if I want to just go and drive around and not have to worry about paparazzi, I do it. At this yeah. point, it's like I served too many years in the game. I've been to anger management. Man, I'm not I'm not in that life no more. I'm here for this. You know what you like with the music is this. Yeah. And you get all the image and stuff, it's like it doesn't work for me. No, I'm sorry, I don't want to bother you. And I wish you guys all the best and I give you peace. But yeah, I'm not the only one on the street. Everyone who will see you will take pictures. Yeah, it's one thing if other people are taking pictures. So I'm saying it's like, but I asked you like three times, like, who's the company that you work for? Who no, you work no, honestly, for? honestly, God, I do not work but for who, any company. You're going to go and take this picture of me. You have no plans of giving me any percentage of it, giving her any percentage of it. That's not, it's not right. And just because it's been like that for a long time, don't mean that it's going to well, be like that. In the state of California, it is right, but I see your point. I see your point and I respect your wish. So, and I wish you a good evening. And oh, I. No, it ain't in the state of California. What's that? So, sorry? Not because you're like, I stopped, but you already took the photo. And as we may in public domain, but if it bothers you, I stopped. No, it's not an if. It does bother you. It ain't up to y'all. My image ain't up to y'all no more. Okay. If okay. I take your camera, is it up to me then? No, it's not. Anyway, I wish you a good evening, and you I apologize. Erase the photos? What's that? And uh, no, I need them, and actually, I haven't even seen them. <laughs> you need them, so you got the right. I actually, I do have the right to the photos. I do. So what happens if I take your photo? If you're, I take your camera right now? I would not like that. Please don't do this. I walk away, and we're all good. Oh, but would I like it? Do What's I like y'all doing that to me all the time? No, I apologize and I'm walking away. So let people know. Yes, I will. Let all the paparazzi know it's up. I will. I will. Have a good evening. Guys, it's no surprise that paparazzi are basically hunting down Ye West because there's so many theories about what's going on with Ye, 
where is Ye and all of that. So even though Ye is unhappy about the paparazzi, you know, invading his privacy, I think that this is going to confirm for a lot of people that Ye West is okay, he is alive and well, and not just that, he's working on himself exactly as we said, based on what he said in that clip. But let's talk about the paparazzi invading his privacy because honestly, I, be I believe that he has a valid point. He has been keeping a low profile, intentionally staying away from all the media, you know, all the controversy, the attacks and everything, because we know that he has been through a lot. He has lost a lot. And it appears that the Jewish community is still going after him, irrespective of all his losses. So anyone in issue would want to detox, you know, stay away from that. So he has basically set up this barrier that he's going to stay away from the mess and work on himself. When he spoke about, you know, the first time he took a medicate, I took meds, it's because of paparazzi and he has worked on himself through anger management. No, we know that that is definitely factual because we have heard so many stories about Ye West and we have heard words from his mouth about them wanting to 5150 him. So I don't believe that anyone has the right to, you know, invade his privacy like that, even though he's out in the public. If you look, his license plate number was taken in that video. There was so much information taken in that video. And that can be very disturbing to someone who is seeking peace and someone who is, you know, aiming to strike balance in their life after a major loss. And not just that, guys. We know that Ye West normally sits, you know, and have a conversation with the paparazzi. This time, he did just that, but in a stern manner because he wanted this gentleman to understand things from his perspective. And he asked him nicely to delete the photo, and he said, no, I can't do that. I have the right to take a photo of you. And unfortunately, based on the state law in California, the paparazzi does have some amount of right, but Ye asked him to delete the photograph and he should have complied and delete the photos as well as the video. People say that, you know, they get um, exposure. It helps them, you know, to get famous and all of that. Ye West does not need publicity. He does a very good job of that on his own he really does not need a paparazzi to be up all up in his face you know invading his privacy and all of that and when i saw ye going out to dinner with north and his wife i said that ye west is like a lion he's in his protection mode i could have tell based on the look in his eyes whenever you see where ye has that look in his eyes, it means that I don't want any paparazzi around. I want you to stay away from, you know, my partner, stay away from my kids. He is very protective of the people that loves him and the people that he loves. And this is something that I've observed about him for many, many years. And if the paparazzi have been following him for so long, they should be able to read his body language because I'm able to read it. Why is it that you're always following this person for stories, you know, and you don't understand when to keep your distance? So I have to say that they don't really care. It's all about the money. It's all about, you know, what paparazzi is trending for the best photograph and all of that. But it's really sad to see. And guess what? When he goes to Australia, He's going to have a lot more of that to deal with because the Australian media, they are already setting up camp to take every opportunity to get videos and photographs of him. They're practically camping out at that A1 bakery where it was said that he was seen in Australia, even though he is not there as yet. There are certain areas that journalists are visiting, they're camping out because they want to get that opportunity of taking that first photograph, catching every sight of him. 
And that can be a lot, especially for someone who's trying to heal, trying to stay out of the sight of the Jewish community and, you know, just try to live their best life under the radar. And this, for me, is also confirming that Yewes is serious about, as I've said to you guys, I did call it. I said that Yewes is serious about living a private religious life with this young lady out of the limelight, out of the scene. And this can confirm it for all of us. Not that he's not going to talk to paparazzi ever again. I believe he's going to occasionally do so. But for now, he needs his space. And it is something that everyone should respect and understand based on what has happened to him over the past four months. So guys, this was a lot. But I know you're there with me. I know you guys understand. And I want to hear from you. This is where you guys come in. Let me know what your thoughts are about the interaction between Ye West and the paparazzi. You know, I, I, I want to hear what you think about that. And also, you know, is life going forward with Bianca Sensori West? And when he said, you don't even know what's going on. For me, that's like, what do you mean by that? Are you saying you're not married? What are you saying? Or are you saying you don't even know if this girl is pregnant or something? There's so many, you know, red flags about that. So many questions going off. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks to your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.